southern England? Excuse me, senor. It is not ole ole. No. For those of you asking what? where we've actually been on this trip, I thought I'd quickly show you just in case you guys are wanting to do a, a southwest road trip here in the UK. Let's see. All right, just so you guys get a sense of direction, London is over here. We started all the way in Bristol, and that's where we picked up the camper van. And in that day, we picked it up, and then we headed to Bath, and that's where it was crazy busy. So I recommend if you want to go to Bath, don't go on a Saturday afternoon during summer school holidays. But yeah, so we drove down to Bath, and then we spent the night in New Forest. So we drove right down here, and this is like a big national park. We spent the night in New Forest, and there's a bunch of camper vans all around here like that you can stay at. And then in the morning, we drove down first along the coast, and this is called the Jurassic Coast. And we drove down here and stopped off in Dirtle Door, which I'm guessing is around here somewhere. And we stopped there in the morning, and then we kept driving along the coast until we hit Lyme Regis, which was that really cute town with the little pastel beach huts. So we went there and then we decided to do the big old drive all the way down to Cornwall, which is all the way down here. And we're staying in Red Ruth. So we're pretty much, pretty much at one of the most southwest points of the UK. Had to film this moment. A little bit of off-roading. Ready? This is anticlimactic. Woo! <laughs> Why do I feel like that was anticlimactic? I thought it was gonna look cool. <laughs> got me Costa coffee, got Radio 1 on, and I think we've just crossed 800 miles driven. Oh my gosh, we've like, driven a lot. I don't know. Let me do the translation to kilometers so you guys see how far we've driven. Let's keep going. Alrighty guys, we've just come to our first stop of the day. In the Cornwall area is really known for having fishing villages. So we've come historical. down to our first one. Yeah, historical. Historical fishing villages. I.e. this little number right here. So we've come to Port Isaac. And we're going to go for a little stroll around. All I can hear is the seagulls. They sound fake, like someone's got them on loudspeaker. Because in Australia, our seagulls are not that vocal and not that big. <laughs> oh, Jess, classic telephone box. We see them everywhere and we're a little obsessed with them. I feel like this flower shop is not keeping to their own rules. So we've made it into the little harbour and we found a walkway that we want to go on to. Jess, you're gonna have to do a bit of a jump. Oh no, I've got my favourite socks on and everything. Well, she does. Right. Yeah, hopefully we can get back. The tide's not too high. Okay, okay, ready? Ah! It's a pretty cool step spot. We haven't been to Ireland yet, but if we have any Irish viewers, let us know. Is this kind of what your coastland looks like? Oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Jess, you have to run and then you have to do the scene from Hobbiton. From The Hobbit. Let's, Let's, begin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on an adventure! <laughs> oh wow. Whoa, this is cool! This is like Lord of the Rings! <laughs> I'm sure you can tell, but it is, uh... James and the Giant Peach Cloud is heading our way, and this is a mud sludge already. We need to get in and out, and also before that tide. It's like 10 past 10 in the morning. I feel like, I don't know, 11 onwards. You probably can't come do this route. Yeah, because the tide would be too high. Yeah. Unless you wanted to swim in the cold water, which I feel like we might have to do to get out of here. Whoa. We actually didn't plan to come here. We just saw like a picture of this place and we're like, let's come check it out on the way. But I'm so glad we did. Bobs, I think I found the best seat in the house. Once upon a time, there was a guy and he never knew how to behave himself. <laughs> For the time I knew this guy was a little bit mad, he likes to get high But it didn't matter how hard he drank, cause everyone around him just seemed to die He always told the truth but never lied, usually no one stands alongside Little man said to a matter of pride, don't think that he won't bring Rome with a ride He ain't never got love for the vagans, fight for voice, slap you up late and smoke that cushion He loves the ravens 
Guys, and this is why I love the drone, because I was just taking it back in and I saw this crazy fisherman just on the side and I wouldn't have even known he was here. Let me see if I can find him. I think he's just down here. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Oh, there he is. I found you, Mr. Fisherman. It literally is like a trampoline. Really? Yeah, jump. Oh yeah, it is. Woo! <laughs> this is grass. <laughs> Just checking how high the tide is before we head back. See if we have to find another route. Guys, we took too long. How was that? It's now 10.40. I want to try and do it before the... Shoes off, favourite socks off. Oh dear. She's a trooper. I'm still here, but... Nearly there, Bubs. She did it. My turn now. The Grim! Guys, we need to settle this argument. This is the proper way to do it. I don't understand that way. But Steve, we're about to go through Devon. I feel like we should go have Let's morning go. tea, but we'll try it the Devon way with the cream and then the jam. That's so weird I've though. I've never had it like that before. I don't get it. Why would you want to put the jam on top? This is how you do it. Cream on top. Guys, we have just had the big scone debacle of 2017. After seeing that sign, I was like, Steve, we have to go and try scones in Devon. So we drove all the way to Devon. To have Devonshire tea. To have Devonshire tea, exactly. And we wanted to have the whole cream tea experience with the cream on the bottom of the jam on top, like everyone raves on about. So we got to Devon, we've come to like a really big town called Exeter. Exeter, parked our car, went to six cafes, none selling scones. They were all selling the tea part, but not the Devonshire part. So I was like, Steve, we need to get it. So now we've pulled up at a waitress parking lot. This is how desperate we are to have scones in Devon. We went and bought. Just to add to the debacle even more. Yeah, this adds to the debacle. We, this was the only clotted cream they sold and it's Cornish clotted cream, clotted cream. It's not even from Devon. It's from Cornwall. But we have but we did find scones and I'm very excited because they have sultanas in them and that is the exact way I like it. And we did buy some jam and so now we've done it this way. By the way, mm -hmm. what does it taste like having it that way? Now let's try the different way. This is the way we have it at home. What do you reckon tastes better? That way. <gasps> That's the Cornish way. I like the Cornish Don't way. Don't let the Devon people hear you say that. <laughs> They did. So now we're having hashtag van life Devonshire scones in the back of our car in a Waitrose parking lot. There's things we do. Things <laughs> we, we were do. craving it. All right, we've got our Google Maps, got our snacks, got our radio one. Alice is going to be on soon. And we're ready off. to go. <laughs> There's a girl on the radio called Alice and we love her. She... Anyway, we are off to the Cotswolds. <laughs> See you, Devon. Shame we couldn't try your... Devon Try your Devon Chatty. Well, I'm glad we're not on that side of the road. The traffic has been going on for so long. Guys, this is pretty much what we've been dealing with all week. On this side, we have a lovely, beautiful summer's day. And um, over this side, we have the big cloud storm evil rain of doom. Woohoo, we have arrived. After quite the day of driving, we have come to a place called The Time. Because officially this is the last night of the honeymoon. So rather... We than staying in Leon, we thought... We've come to the English countryside. We need to stay in a beautiful mansion. And look at this place. I'm excited Woo! to see it more. <laughs> Hi. How's your journey down here, all right? Yeah, yeah we actually amazing. did from Corn Cornwall. Oh yeah. So we did a long drive today. Wow. Yeah. yeah, what was it? What a few hours? Was it yeah, a couple. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, this is like uh, an accommodation we've never stayed at before. We this are so like excited. One I've always dreamed of staying at, where they, a lot of the times in the UK, they'll buy houses and they'll renovate them and turn them into like little hotels. Houses. And More it is like so cute. Mansions. This is where we're going to be staying for the night. Because we're actually on an estate, so this is where everyone stays. Over there is like. The reception and stuff like that. You have to walk down the road to go to the restaurant. Like it's really, it's really cool. huge. So let's show you this building. That's a little sneak peek inside it's there. Literally like honeymoon goals. Like we've left the really nice place for the last night. Oh yeah. Come in. The little entrance hall. And like every door 
is a bedroom. Like they couldn't convert it into a bunch of bedrooms. But this is like the living area. So if we look we... at it, two giant fireplaces. So this is like almost like the tea room and you can come and just relax here. I'm sure in winter with that on there would be just so toasty. Got little paintings on here. It's so English. It is so English. <laughs> Just to end the whole English part of the honeymoon. It's just saying that people like have events and weddings here. So there's like a dining room area. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. This like window is huge. Imagine having really an event. Cool. Are you ready for some stairs? Yeah, let's go upstairs. We're staying in the top of the house. Of the house. Of the mansion. I don't know if you call it the house. It is like an old English mansion. Just down there was where the events room is. And this is us, so we are in like, what do we call it, like the cubby house? <laughs> the cubby house, yeah. Are you ready? You haven't seen it yet. I actually have seen haven't it. seen it. You saw it, but I was getting the bags. You go first then. It's so cute. Oh my, wow. I know. <laughs> that is so cool. This place is huge. What, we're in like an A-frame yeah, as well? Yeah, so cool, hey. We've got a cute little cubby window. We can look out. Can I feel like some little doves need to bring me apple pie. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh wow, just to give you guys a so view. You see like the courtyard out there. And then you can go up to the left. Wow, this estate is huge. And then that's the road we came down. So cute. This bathtub. Oh, and there's a shower down here. I didn't look this far on the toilet. I'll let you have a look. Yeah, it's like we're in like the little A-frame room. Oh my goodness, this place, I can't get over it. Picks are good and to end it. We also have some dinner reservations for seven because we have to have some like honeymoon reservations and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna jump into that bath. Maybe maybe have a bit of a relaxed couple of hours of dinner, but this is and a good we're end. Explore the area. Yeah, we should. We have a bit of sunshine. <laughs> well, not sunshine. We don't have rain. That's, That's what it's crazy. resorted to. Don't have rain, so it's okay. What music is that I hear? Something to try and make you feel at home. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen is currently on tea duty. Oh my goodness, they smell good. And, and, not Whoa. just tea duty. Homemade. Oh. Homemade cookie. I want to mm. say, I want to have mine with my tea. Mm. And a bath is being drawn, ready to relax after a very long day of driving. Alrighty, we're going to go and try and find the restaurant. Like we said, this estate is huge. So they told us it's 100 yards, whatever that yards is. I That's can't believe... another thing we noticed with the road trip is that we didn't expect the UK to be in yards and miles and so feet like, and stuff. It's only half a mile. And like, to me, that's, you know, in my head, I'm thinking half a kilometer is like, that's not. And then like half a mile, I'm like, why is it taking so long yeah, to get? Yeah, that was the one thing that I didn't expect when I came to the UK. I thought it was in meters. Like also, us. this is the road. We've got a cute little puppy taking guard of this house. But I'm pretty sure it's up here. It's actually such a quiet neighborhood. But this is it. This is the swan. So we're having dinner tonight. Yeah. Look at the vines have just taken over the entire building. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hello. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that looks great. Nice. Thank okay. you. We have big news, very big news. It's the last day of the honeymoon, which means I'm allowed ginger beer, and I just had a sniff, a little bit of a taste, and I think I found a the good best. replacement. What were you saying? This is like a healthy version. It's like no artificial sweeteners, flavoring, or preservatives. You have to tell them the brand if they want to get it. This is the bad boy right here. A ginger beer is good if it burns on the way down. <laughs> and this one does. Mmm, a little bit of pasta, a little bit of fish. This is a bit of an upgrade from the Waitrose parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> We're one of those couples that share, but there are ones out there that don't like sharing. But that's the best, I have to admit, of being a couple, is being able to get two different flavours uh -huh. at dinner time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How's the fish? So 
That was such a relaxing night. I wish we could stay here for the weekend. That was just the perfect ending to the honeymoon. And I'm so upset that it's the end now. And today is our last day in the UK. Back to work tomorrow, but can't complain because the next place we're going to for work is pretty cool. I've never been there before. It's pretty unique to be honest. Yeah, I've I actually have... haven't talked to anyone that's been there. Never been there. I've seen one person go there. They loved it, but I haven't seen like any vlogs or anything there. So I'm excited to go yeah. and show you guys this That'll place. That'll be exciting. But now we're off to breakfast. Yes, I was telling you guys yesterday, property is huge. So that's where we stay. That's the manor there. There's a church there and there's a massive hall. I got a sneak peek of the hall yesterday. It kind of looks like the Harry Potter hall <laughs> where they have like the grand ballroom where they eat breakfast. We'll show you guys now. It looks amazing. Morning, Leon. Have to take Last you back today night. as well. You're so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Next to all of it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, so many seeds to choose from. <laughs> Okay, the elves in the kitchen have delivered. I've gotten myself just the cutest looking pancakes with some little flowers on there. <laughs> Jess has gone for, I'm just gonna say the boring breakfast option. <laughs> Poached eggs and salmon. And this is the best tasting granola we're oh like nibbling at it. Oh my god, it's amazing. By the way, have you just casually seen the giant lobster behind you? <laughs> Alrighty, let's give Leon one more spin as we take her back. We'll take him back. I feel like he's a boy. Hello. He is a boy. Bye Cotswold, you're so cute. We're dropping old Leon off back at his back at his house. And look, there's other Leons, Leon's brothers. One of a little peaky. Whoa, this one looks so cool. Oh, I don't know if you can see. It's all wood. Steve. You need to have a peek at Leon's brothers. Yeah. They're very cool. I saw another one down there too. They're so cool. This trip has made me want to convert a camper van so bad. Have a look in there, Steve. It's so cool. So what do you think, Steve? 2018 converter on camper van? Are you up for the job? Let's do it. Let's put a, <laughs> got a fireplace in there. What? Alrighty guys, it is now four in the morning. We're going to catch our flight. We will see you in. Welcome to Israel, everybody.